Welcome back. Broadway is Tony Award winning musical Hairspray has made its way to Nashville. Joining me now are two actors in the musical, Greg Calafatis and Belmont alum Caroline Eisman. Thank you both for being here. We appreciate y'all. Thank you. You were fresh off the stage last night. Yeah. So how did it go, Caroline? First night here in Nashville. As a Belmont alum, so you're a local girl, how was it last night? It feels so good to be back. <laughs> yeah. And last night's audience was amazing. Yeah. We had almost a full house. Oh my they gosh. were cheering, they were dancing. It was mm -hmm. so yeah. much fun. We were yeah. having the time of our lives. Wow. Yeah. You could see all the way up and everyone was full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how does it feel when you're approaching the, the first night? Do you ever have any jitters or Greg, or are you just kind of like, oh, you know, um, I'm excited to get it. On. I mean, I have jitters if I have someone that I know yeah. who's in the audience. <laughs> the, aside from that, these mm -hmm. days, not so much. Um, yeah. No, but it's just, it's great, you know, when you're in a nice city. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been here since 2010. Wow. I was here. A lot on, has changed since then. A lot has changed. <laughs> it has. I know. I was here with a show called The Drowsy Chaperone. Mm -hmm. We were at TPAC, but that was, yeah, um, definitely has changed. Yeah. But, um, but it's it's great. It's just like a great city with mm -hmm. you know people who get the jokes and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the audience was laughing and cheering along with us. It was awesome. It was really great. Okay, so what role do you play? I play Edna, okay. Tracy's mom. Okay, and who do you play? Tracy Turnblad. Tracy. Right, so <laughs> what's it like, Caroline, to play such iconic characters? It feels like the, ma the most incredible honor. Mm -hmm. You know, we have people who've not only loved these characters but played these characters and identify with these characters around the country and so getting a, getting to bring their stories to life mm -hmm. and to different communities around the country is such a joy yeah. and I feel so you know I feel like honor is like the best word yeah it's really awesome what's it like for you personally yeah, it's the same I would say it is an honor because you know it started in the 88 Hairspray movie with John Waters with Divine mm -hmm. and then it was Harvey Farsing on Broadway and he won the Tony for it and then John Travolta in the movie and there's just you know list I mean you know the guys who played it on Broadway stars mm -hmm. after stars mm -hmm. so it's just it's a cool thing to sort of keep this production alive mm -hmm. because this is the original Broadway production it's the costumes it's the set it's, mm -hmm. that's what mm -hmm. you're gonna get you're gonna get that same production yeah so so how was it I guess what makes this Hairspray performance, Caroline, different and special compared to the ones that people have seen in the past? What do you think? You know, while it is the same show, we're mm -hmm. doing the same choreography and incredible staging, this show is needed now more than ever. Mm -hmm. It is a story about the 60s, it was created in the 80s, it was told on Broadway in 2002, mm -hmm. but now in 2024, we are still telling the story, we are still needing the love and acceptance that Hairspray promotes. Mm -hmm. And so I think while it is the same story, it has this fresh new vigor mm -hmm. of being needed in the world that we're in right now. Yeah. Any particular scenes, Greg, that stand out to you or that are kind of your favorites to perform? Um, <laughs> Timeless to Me, which is my song that I sing with um, Ralph, who plays Wilbur, my husband, mm -hmm. in the show. That's, I mean, that's my favorite to do on yeah. stage. Um, I mean, I also love doing 60s with Caroline, because that's the moment when Edna goes from sort of realizing, thinking, feeling bad about herself mm -hmm. to realizing that she can be fabulous, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. Tracy. And so, like, those are the two moments that I love. I mean, you know, I mean, I love yeah, the, the whole but thing like, is but great. if I had to choose, but then uh, we were talking about earlier, you know, if we had to choose a song that I don't sing, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think "Without Love" is one of my favorite yeah. songs. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a good time, a very good summertime show oh, to yeah. go out and enjoy, Absolutely. and then go out and enjoy a little night down in Nashville. So, so it started last night. What are the dates? Now through, now through Sunday. To through 16th, Sunday. Yeah. Okay, so people need to go ahead and get tickets. We're going to have information, folks, about those tickets at WKRN.com. Thank you both for being here. We Thank appreciate y'all. Thanks for having us. Uh, folks, we're going to have that, those details for you as soon as our segment wraps up.